Hi, my name is Amey Abhyankar. I am the founder and lead trainer at FinQuest Institute. In this video, we'll understand how to build an option pricing model using Python. This is one of the models which we cover as a part of our certificate course on Python for quantitative analytics. In this video, we'll do a quick overview of options as a product type. Then we'll discuss a few methods which are used for pricing options. Subsequently, we'll understand a couple of numerical schemes which are used by market participants for implementation of these option pricing models. And in the end, we'll build an option pricing model via Python. So what are options? So options are popular derivative products which are traded by market participants, both on the exchange as well as in the OTC markets. So in an option contract, there are two parties. There is a buyer and there is a seller. So a buyer has the right but no obligation to exercise the option. Further, you have options which are, which are of different types. You have European, American, Asian, etc. So we'll talk of the simpler one first. So we'll talk of European options. And in this video, we'll do a hands-on implementation of a European option pricer. So what do I mean by European option? A European option is one which can be exercised by the holder only at option maturity. Now, a few models which are used by the market for pricing European options. You have a binomial model, which is a discrete time model, and you have a Black-Scholes model, which is a continuous time model. Implementing these models, you need a numerical scheme or a numerical technique. So there are a few approaches which the market has adopted for building these models. So firstly, you have a tree or a lattice structure. So in case you're building a binomial option pricer, then a tree or a lattice structure is a kind of approach which is followed. When you are building a black shows model, then you can either build it via a finite differencing scheme whereby you create a finite difference grid and you solve the grid to arrive at the option price or you can solve it via simulation. Now we'll build an option pricing model using Python. So I'll go to my Jupyter notebook. So I'll be using the Euler scheme for implementing this model. So let's import the libraries first. We import numerical Python, i.e. NumPy. We'll import pandas. Now let's take a set of inputs for the option. These are the five inputs which I have taken for my hypothetical option contract. So my spot price is 100, my time to maturity is 1 year, my strike price is 101, my risk free rate is 6% and the volatility is flat 25%. Now let's define the number of iterations. Let's keep 10,000 iterations for now. Now firstly, for implementing this Euler scheme, I'm going to create uh, vectorized arrays. So I'll be leveraging the power of vectorization which uh, NumPy offers. So that way I don't have to build a, a loop. That loop will be handled by NumPy internally and that's what we mean by vectorization. So vectorization will speed up my operation considerably. That's a very powerful utility which NumPy offers. I'm going to generate a series of random numbers which I'll be using subsequently. So I'll call it by Z. So you can imagine Z to be a Wiener process or a variable following a Wiener process. Let's comment the code a bit. I'll write the equation for the Euler scheme. 
So the advantage in Python is any equation which you actually write by hand, you can translate that into a Python code. So Euler's equation is an excellent example of that. Let's see with my terminal spot price. S0 is my starting price today. the payoff condition uh, let's say I am pricing a call option so let's say my and type call option so my payoff for this is going to be st minus k so max of st minus k or zero so again I'll use numpy my payoff condition for the option now I'll calculate my call price is going to give me my average call price over all of my iterations. Let's print the result. So this is my call price. So this is how you can implement an option pricing model with Python with ease. So we'll do a quick walkthrough of what we have done. So a quick recap. So we import the required libraries. Next, we take the option inputs. So S0 is my spot price, T is my time to maturity, K is the strike price, R is the risk-free rate, and Sigma is the volatility. I'm taking my option type to be a call option. I'm assuming uh, 10,000 iterations for now. First step, before I actually implement the Euler scheme, I'm going to generate my random number series and I'm going to leverage the power of vectorization. So I will not be using any loops. That looping will be handled by NumPy in the background. So my variable Z, you can imagine to be, it's a random variable which is following a Wiener process. So and that, is, that will be the random number which I'll be using in my Euler scheme. Subsequently, I generate the paths and I and I uh, and I arrive at ST. So ST is nothing but my terminal stock price. So I move from today right until maturity in one stroke. So I generate ST for each of my paths. Subsequently, I solve for my payoff. So I have a call option. So the payoff is max of ST minus K. So that's what we implement here. And subsequently, we just take a discounted value of this because we are interested in the present value of this option. So we need a discount factor. So E raised to minus RT would be my continuous discounting factor and, and the payoff is my option payoff. And subsequently, I just print the option price. And this is how I can price a call option. Now, in case I have to do it for a put option, then it's easy. I simply need to change the payoff condition. And by doing that, I can price a put option. So this is how Python makes it easy for building option pricing models. So in our certificate course on Python for quantitative analytics, we will be having a blend of finance and hands-on implementation via Python. To know more about this course, 
visit the course page on our website www.finquestinstitute.com or feel feel free to drop us an email at info@finquestinstitute.com at so thank you have a nice day